I'm in Lacombe, Louisiana, checking out a claim of a 10-foot snake terrorizing a home. Be careful, man. A snake this big could kill you quick. Mr. Decree told me and Dave that he'd seen the snake in his tool shed, so we went in cautiously, started looking around, and there was a lot of debris in there, so it was easy for a snake, even a big snake, to hide. Oh, man, all these earth tone colors in here is freaking me out. That snake could be anywhere. There's a million places it could hide. It could be up top, it could be down below. It's gonna be practically invisible, whatever it is. I got a water heater over here. That's a good heat source for snakes, I usually find. Snakes are cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperatures rise and fall with external conditions. So when a snake gets into a home, it'll try to find a heat source to keep warm. Wait, I, I just heard something over here. It almost sounded like air coming out of a tire. Is he hissing? Is that him hissing? That is. He is uh, very upset. When a snake's hissing like that, it'll hiss. It's kind of give you a warning to back off, get away, and I advise anybody to do just that. He's hissing again. I started to look back behind this uh, round metal shelving thing. I went up a little closer on it, and bam. Get out, dude, quick! The snake jumped up at me. I freaked out, man. I jumped back, knocked over a bunch of stuff in the shed, and ran out of there with my tail between my legs. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see a snake that friggin' big. What I'm pretty sure I saw is not a water moccasin. A python is what it looked like, it dude. Is. Oh, definitely. A water moccasin can grow to a maximum of six feet, and this snake was at least twice that long. Based on the sheer size of it, I think it's a Burmese python, which can grow up to 23 feet. While pythons aren't poisonous, they are deadly. These constrictors squeeze their prey to death before devouring it. So basically, we're just gonna be fighting about you know, 15 feet of pure, pissed off muscle. All right, well look, I'm gonna try to come in one side, you come in the other, and I, I guess we're just gonna have to drag it out of there, dude. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see if we try to move this. Times like this, I wish I had some bracelets like yourself, man, because uh, if he bites, that's what he's gonna end up getting. Right on the wrists, that's why I wear them, dude. You never know what you're walking you into in kidding. this job. <laughs> A lot of people think I wear all this stuff just because it's a fashion statement. And they're right, partially. But it's also extremely functional. I mean, if you did my job fighting alligators and monster snakes, believe me, you'd be very happy to wake up in the morning and put these on. All right, let's get it. One, two, three. Oh. That is a massive python. We had to get in there and grab the snake by the head. So you got to get control of the head, or the snake's going to get control of you. The head's right here. I can see it. Oh my god, he's moving. Grab it, grab it, go. I saw my shot. I grabbed him. Oh! Man, he's fighting! Oh! 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 Dave gets in there. He gets a couple of hands on the snake. Oh. We had to get this snake outside to try to get control of it. He's so freaking heavy, dude. Oh, oh, he's constricting. Oh. So he starts to wrap up around my arm. Every time I'd breathe or anything, he'd squeeze tighter. And these snakes are strong, man. They've been known to overpower grown men. Oh, he's got me. It's crushing my arm, dude. I had that snake by the neck, man, and I wasn't going to let him go. Oh, he's pissed off. OK, we got to finish. I'm going to hold him, dude. If you can go find a you bucket got him. or something. You sure? He's got me. All right. He's got me. Uh, get off me, dude. So Dave got a container, and we unwrapped the snake from my body by starting with the tail. When we got him off, we stuffed him into the container and shut the lid. We're going to get the top on. Quick, quick. All right. This is the biggest snake I've ever grabbed. I guess what happened was during the hurricane, this dude was probably a pet or something. Hurricane Katrina came through and was tearing houses apart. I think this snake escaped, and it somehow ended up in Mr. Decree's shed. So this snake's probably been on his own for like four years out in the wild, dude. It's irresponsible to release this snake back into the wild, so we can't just relocate it. But since Dave is a licensed reptile rehabilitator, he agreed to take it home with him, where he'll take good care of him. 
Well, let's get him loaded up and uh, put into the truck. Golly, he's freaking heavy. What do you think it weighs? I don't know, 80 pounds, you think? Uh, at least 75 to 80 pounds. Golly. Hello, ma'am, how are you? Hi, I'm Stephanie. My name is Stephanie, and I called Dexcon today because there is a big snake loose in the house. We got the call that there is an escaped giant snake. What is going on? I'm here taking care of my brother's animals. He's out of town. He's got all kinds of snakes, medium size, small size, but he, he always calls this one the big snake. Uh -huh. And I noticed I was watering the dogs, and it was not in the cage. Oh, I don't know where yeah. it is. I got out of the house. OK, Rick, I'm going to go around the back door. If you can come in the side of the front here. And we're going to get on it before sounds, the snake gets too far sounds away. Sounds good to me. God. When I step through the door to go into the house, I see serpents galore. You make a heck of a racket. Everywhere you look, there's a snake of all sizes. This guy is Mr. Snakes. He's got all kinds of snakes. He has the proper permits. I see him on the wall, but he has venomous snakes. I don't know how many. He's not here. He didn't know the big one was going to be getting out. Oh, my God. I mean, the snake could possibly eat any of these. All of this is in danger. You have no idea how lucky you are to be locked in there right now, Chief. Yeah, believe me. This must be the, the aquarium where the snake escaped from. He's in here somewhere in this house. He's big. I'm trying to figure out how he got out of here. Here's a screw loose. Oh, look at that. What happened here is knowing and learning day after day with the handling and feeding that this is the way in and out. With all of the snakes here, there's certainly a lot of feeding taking place on a daily basis. So I'm thinking the big guy's been smelling all the rats around here and then been trying to get out of his box for quite some time. He pushed up so hard that he uh, popped the screws right out of the top and pushed his way out and is in this house somewhere. The fact that Stephanie is calling this snake the big one is really saying a lot considering all of the big snakes I'm seeing here. It definitely has the biggest cage, and if it's anywhere near the size of it, we're going to find it sooner or later. So how'd you make out? Snakes, snakes, and more snakes. Snakes everywhere. The coffee gets tables. Me though, is it, they say it's a big one. There's huge snakes here. I don't think I it's mean, in how here. big are we uh -huh. talking? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's something huge under there. Yikes. Is that, is that it? <laughs> wow. There's nothing but snake under there. It's one big square snake. So what we got to do is get the furniture out of the way, go for the head. If that animal bites, at best, Ricky and I will get away with hundreds of stitches. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. God. Wow, God. dude. When we got eyes on it, we finally figured out what this snake was. It was a reticulated python. It's a constrictor. It crushes you, suffocates you, and then eats you. That thing is huge. No wonder she didn't want to mess with that. That's big trouble. The main things to worry about here is the injury of the animal first, the injury of us second by biting and constricting. Here's the plan. I go for the head so we don't get bit. Ricky's going for the body so we don't get constricted and killed. The snake is uh, in a resting mode. Not going to be very happy here as soon as I grab the snake. It's going to bow up, get very tense, possibly start flailing. I would say a good six-foot section of that snake's girth yeah. is twice the size of our arms. Huge. And it's all muscle. And for the size of this thing, I don't know how old it is, but it's been around for years. So this yeah. thing's a player. I got to try to get the back of the neck. If I miss, the mouth is easily as wide as my fingers. And when they bite, they, they will gnaw and tear. It's to the hospital immediately. All right, here we go. She's going to hate this. Oh, oh geez. she's, oh, oh, she's yeah, mad. She's OK, now. OK, I got the head. All right, All right now we got the rest head. of the body. Oh, yeah, she's Okay, oh, here she goes. Okay, she's deep. Oh, All right, here so we go. Going that other way. Okay, yep, we're going. This snake is huge. I'm guessing almost 20 feet long and well over 100 pounds. What's making this so difficult is that the snake never stops moving. It's continuously using all of its strength to try to wrap us up and eat us for dinner. All right, I got okay. some of the body. All right, cool. Crazy. The body's got oh. some of me. Ricky, watch out. He's wrapping around your leg. Oh, dude. Just when I thought Ricky and I had contained and gotten control of this situation, it went south fast. Dude, hurry up, hurry up. Foot's oh, almost get getting numb. Get when a constrictor starts to wrap around you and constrict, you have to unwrap it immediately because you need oxygen. You can't survive very long without it. Oh, 
Yeah, yes. I feel my foot getting numb, dude. When me and Billy are trying to get this thing wrangled up, it really got a grip on my leg. It wrapped it three or four times. That's when it nearly crushed my leg. That ain't good. Nope. Oh, my God. It's like when you there sit you on go. it wrong, you cut your circulation off. Oh, yeah. That's exactly how it feels. Are right, you ready? She's strong. She's very strong. Oh, my God. Oh, here she goes. Make sure she don't get that around your neck. Whoa. All right. So heavy. Oh, she's ticked. Okay, here oh, we go. Ready? Cute. The key to getting this snake back into the cage without either one of us getting hurt is to move fast. The more time this snake has to wrap around us, the better chances of one of us going to the hospital. Do is I'm gonna have to release one part of the head here. Okay. Because she's uh, got my arm and uh, starting to pinch on my arm, right? Ah. Okay, we're back up. We got the snake to its cage, but now we got to get it to cooperate and go back inside. Man, I tell you, we got to get in here. If she squeezes my arm like she did my leg, I could lose it. She didn't want in there. I wonder either. how long it takes to cut the circulation off. Back where we started. I'm going to let go of this head. Go! <sighs> Getting that snake into the cage at that moment was like the Worldwide Federation for Arm Wrestling. My toes are tingly. It cut the circulation off How was your leg, dude? Man, it's fine, but dude, I think like five minutes or so, you could probably look at an amputation. All right, we'll go ahead and tell her we got the snake back in the cage. The owner's gonna have to replace the hinges on the cage when he returns, but for now, the weight's on top of it. It's gonna do the trick. The snake is secure right here. <gasps> now, I put weights on the uh, top of this lid there so he's not gonna push open again, but you can see how gigantic the snake was. Oh, my God. I know what? like she could not freaking believe the big one was so freaking big. There's a lot of plumbing and pipes under here. I don't see nothing. It's dark, and all the piping under the house made it harder to spot the snake, which is freaking me out. I could barely see a thing. Oh, God. Man, that's a big snake. Holy crap. I was not expecting to see a giant Burmese python under the house, and this thing had to be over 12 feet long. My God, look at this thing. I don't know if it's a pet. I guess it's got to be a pet. A snake is a snake. They are never tame. Uh, you know, you can have one as a pet, and it's mean. It's got its own will. It's going to do whatever it wants. Oh, he's coming right at me. Uh, plumbing everywhere. I'm going to head it off uh, by going that way. Burmese pythons kill by squeezing their victims. Every time you breathe out, the snake will squeeze in a little more till you die from suffocation. This snake was easily over 100 pounds, and if it started to wrap around me, I'd be in big trouble under there. I had to be real fast because the weight of this snake could drag me down easily. You are a big mama. Uh oh. Hell too. Oh, you ain't exactly a sweetheart, are you? Once I grabbed the snake's head, I couldn't just stand up. I somehow had to drag this thing out while laying down, which was a lot harder than it friggin' looked. I'm gonna get to the top of the bottom of the floor and pull myself along. She's hissing at me. Ah. All of a sudden, the snake wrapped its tail around my neck and started squeezing. Even though it only lasted a few seconds, it felt like someone was putting their knee right on my throat, and it started choking me immediately. I'm in a bad, bad spot here. I'm gonna try to use my leg to get the weight of the snake over these pipes. There's sharp uh, hedges everywhere. I can't get out of here. I'm stuck. Oh, Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Oh, man. When I tried to get up, the python took full advantage by fighting and eventually getting out of my grip. Oh, crap. This ain't good. 
Another curious snake this size, I had no idea. Oh, please don't bite me, sweetheart. Or whatever you are. Oh, God. Oh, God. Finally got the giant snake out from under the house, but now I've got to get it to the truck, and this thing weighs as much as I do. Oh. Damn. Oh. Wow. You're not gonna believe what I have in here. What is that? Uh, it's a snake. It's a, a Burmese python, a big one too. How big? Big is enough. It? Uh, I don't know the footage. Uh, definitely big enough to kill a child, to kill a, oh. a pet. Did you hear me struggling under your house? I did. Scared the death out of me. Oh my god. All right, ma'am. Uh, I've got a place to take the snake, so I'm gonna go ahead and get him out of the sun and. Uh, I uh, get it relocated out of here. Well, thank crawling. you so much. I can't thank you enough. You're you very welcome, Pretty much saved my child's life. You're welcome, ma'am. You take care. I'm finally able to grab the gator, and instantly he starts freaking out. He is not happy about being drugged out of this water and wants to fight me every step of the way. Oh, he's heavy.